Hello guys, welcome to my channel. Today, I will show you some methods to fix error code WS374699 on PlayStation 4. Method 1. Check PlayStation Network Service Status. Go to Settings. Select Network. Select View Status of PlayStation Network Services. On the PlayStation Network Service Status page, you should see five different services. Account Management, Gaming and Social, PlayStation Video, PlayStation Store, PlayStation Direct. If a service is up and running, there should be a green circle to the left of its name. If all of the services are up and running, there should be a green checkmark above the list of services. If the services you're trying to connect to don't have a green circle next to them, then all you can do is wait for PlayStation to fix the issue. Method 2. Log out and log into PSN. If your account or PlayStation console is suspended, you will see an error code when attempting to sign in to PSN. They usually email you explaining why you've been suspended and how long it will last. They send that to the email address associated with your account, your sign-in ID. Be sure to check your junk or spam folder for the email. Method 3. Clear PS4 system cache and router. Turn off the PS4 and the router. Then unplug all cables from the back of your PS4, including the power cord. Do same thing on the router. Wait a couple of minutes and then plug in all the cables back to their respective ports. Turn on your router and PS4 console. Try to sign in to the PSN again and see if error WS374699 is fixed. Method 4. Stay up to date. Make sure that you have the latest version of PS4 system software. The updates always offer bug fixes and system performance optimizations. So, just ensure that the latest version is installed on your console. Method 5. Set the automatic login. Go to Settings. Select Login Settings and tick the box labeled, Log in PS4 automatically. Now, restart your PlayStation then try to sign in to the PSN. Method 6. Change the DNS setting. Open the Settings menu on the PS4. Select Network. Go to Set up Internet Connection, then select the Wi-Fi or LAN cable option depending on how you connect. Select the custom option. Select a Wi-Fi network to utilize if required, and enter the password for it. Choose the automatic option for IP address settings. Select the do not specify DHCP setting. Choose the manual DNS setting. Type 8888 as the primary DNS. Type 8844 for the secondary DNS. Select the next. Select automatic. Select do not use options to finish. Method 7. Change your MTU setting. Go to settings menu. Select network. Select set up internet connection and the use Wi-Fi option. Select to configure your network connection with the custom option. Next, select the required Wi-Fi connection to utilize. Select the automatic IP address option. Choose do not specify for the DHCP. 
Select automatic for DNS settings or select manual as method 6. Next, select the manual MTU option. Input 1473 as the MTU number, and select next to continue. Finally, select the do not use proxy server option. Method 8. Try with another network or account. Firstly, hold down the PS button on your PlayStation controller. Choose Power. Select Switch User. On the account selection screen, sign into another account, or make a new account and sign into that. Then try to access the PlayStation services and see if the error is gone. In case the problem still occurs, try connecting to the PlayStation services using a mobile hotspot or neighbor's Wi-Fi. Try connecting to the PlayStation services and see if the error is gone. Method 9. Rebuild PS4 Database. Power off your PS4. After that, hold the power button down until you hear two quick beeps. This will alert you that you have entered safe mode. Connect your DualShock 4 controller to the USB-A slot in the front of the PS4. Now, press the PlayStation button present on the controller. Scroll down in the menu until you reach option 5, Rebuild Database. Press the X button to start the rebuild. At that time, it will warn you that it may take hours. Finally, in case the problem still occurs, the only way you can do it is factory reset PS4. Doing so will delete all data from your PS4, including games and save progress, so ensure you've backed everything up before proceeding. I advise getting in touch with the nearby Sony Service Center if the issue continues. Hope this is useful.